Hey, Dee Dee here in the field on the track of rare and unusual machines, and here's one right here. Um, this is at the recovery yard. They moved this thing out on the right of way here. Maybe they want to sell it real bad. I don't know. But let's have a look at it. It's, uh, it's an unusual lathe made on the West Coast. Now, Axelson advertised back in the day that they were the only uh, lathe manufacturer making lathes in substantial qualities, but there was this company. The McIlvaney Machine Works, Yakima, Washington, USA. And this one here is a century, and it's a little bit newer of the machine than a lot of these. And it's a light duty machine. I guess that's uh, maybe a 10 or 12 foot bed. There is a tailstock for this thing. Isn't that neat? It, uh, the, this company, the McIlvaney uh, Machine Works, the building is still there and it has uh, quite a history. But this machine here is uh, about a 15, 16 inch and um, it's got a an unusually uh, large spindle hole for its size here. I don't know. It's over three inches, I think. I don't know. I don't have a, uh, any measuring devices on me. <laughs> There's a motor on it, and it's got a clutch. Twin disc clutches. You can get a look at this thing. Now, this machine uh, was here with the drill press and uh, the brown and sharp milling machine. That's kind of an interesting uh, piece of equipment. Now this uh, was pro was for sure out at Hanford and uh, they did a lot of work with uh, drawn over mandrel tubing. And uh, so they made a lot of machines like this. Now, a lot of the McIlvaney lathes were a little bit older pattern. And somehow, uh, one of the people with McIlvaney was somehow involved with Monarch. But this one's a little bit of a departure. It, uh, um, but most of them, uh, some of them, this size uh, had a six inch spindle hole and they'd have uh, another another chuck on the back. But this is kind of a, a interesting and kind of a rare piece of equipment. I'm gonna look around. I, I thought about restoring this thing, but it seems like it, it it's got a bit of a ridge, but it doesn't seem to be as horrible as I thought it probably was. Yeah, McIlvaney, Yakima, Washington. See the clutches and top slide. Doesn't look like there's a, a, a taper attachment. I'll get back and look at it. Yeah, yeah kind of fun, huh? I, I almost uh, was thinking of restoring this, but the machine I like the length of it, but the machine's pretty light, you know, and, and it's got a, a, um, a drive like, uh, like a South Bend, I believe. Yeah, there's a, a, a key slot in the, in the lead screw, so it doesn't have a separate uh, feed rod, but it's got a clutch broken off handle. Maybe that stuff's still around here. I might ask him about this. I asked him at one time and uh, he goes, oh, I don't know. And uh, it seems like something else is busted. Yeah, there's something busted here, see? For the 
for the gearboxes. I'll get a close-up of this. It's hard to read here. But maybe it'll read better. Uh, I'm going to blow it up or something. Here's the uh, feed chart. That's kind of neat. It's kind of an angly kind of thing. Open uh, type gearbox. You can see the clutch works here in the motor. We'll look, uh, see what we got on a horse car. I can't really uh, get in there too good. Okay. Back, back side. So, what we have is a McIlvany Century Lathe. <clears throat> It with spiders. So I don't know. We'll have to think about this one. Looks like the end train's probably all there. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't get that. Ugh. That's not coming off too good. But that's a good size spindle hole. Isn't that unusual? Now one of the problems I see before I buy this, I wanted to point this out, this is important. You see how this oil is coming out of here like that? Up high, out of these levers? That means water has gotten inside the headstock. Okay, when you see that kind of uh, goo. So before I spend money on this thing, it moves, see? It's in gear. Ugh, it's got a shifter up on the top here. I don't know if you can get it in neutral. Hey, I got it somewhere. Hey, look at that. Sounds like a box of rocks. Okay. I don't know. It's worth considering. That rust will come off that thing. You know, just a uh, hundred hours or so of that. <laughs> okay, let's pan around and look at this place here. Now that's the recovery yard there. Where I got that. This is uh, Walker's Tawn and Recovery. There's the phone number. Give them a call and buy this thing before I do. Yeah, there's just all kinds of things in here. I think that big, big uh, green thing's called a yarder. It's for logging. And there's a steam engine here. Before I do.